Good afternoon. I think we're afternoon. Remember Y2K? The year 2000? The new millennium? Well, that was the year that my world upended. My first marriage had never been perfect, but after my children were removed from our home for their own protection, it became blatantly obvious that to continue playing happy family was not an option anymore. No problem. I had a decent job. I was used to relying on myself. I would find a place to stay just until I could move into my own apartment, get my children back, dissolve my failed marriage, and then get on with life. And then reality hit. I couldn't stay on the futon in my friend's basement indefinitely, but it was hard to come up with a monthly rent, let alone a security deposit and moving costs, when half of my paycheck was taken out for child support every week. As much as I hated to admit it, I was not going to be able to do this all on my own. So I started calling any agency that offered help. After two months, I'd not made much progress. On paper, I had more income than I actually received in my bank account, which disqualified me, disqualified me from most programs. And with each failed attempt, my illusion of having it all under control faded more and more until I didn't think I was ever going to pull through and have things return to normal. Somebody else was calling all the shots, and all I could do was cry and pray for divine guidance. I will always be grateful that God was listening and put me in contact with Bridge of Hope of Chester County. Their program addressed not only my monetary setbacks, but the emotional ones as well. I was matched with a neighboring group formed from members of the church I attended. They helped me see that attempting to do it all myself, it just wasn't healthy. After trying to manage for so long on my own, it felt so good to have somebody call just to see how I was doing. My neighboring volunteers quickly became a group of friends who helped fill needs both material and emotional, some of which I didn't even realize I'd had at the time. Bridge of Hope also gave me practical life lessons to help me deal with the daily challenges, both routine and cataclysmic. After settling into the apartment I'd been able to find with Bridge of Hope's help, I thought those daily challenges had eased and I could look forward to life settling down into a new but comfortable routine. I was wrong. I'd been in my apartment for just a few months and was going through the required process to get my children back when it was announced that the company I worked for had been sold. And if I wanted to keep my job, I would have to move to a different state, far from those who served as my support network. What was I going to do? I, I mean, my daughters were still in foster care. I had just signed a year-long lease that I would have to break. I knew nobody in Ohio. I, I was in the middle of a divorce. And why was I having to face this new crisis? Well, that's when Bridge of Hope's lessons kicked in. In order to deal with large, impossible things, it's wise to tackle the problem one step at a time. OK. Well, the way I saw it, I had two main options. I could give up my job to stay in my new home, or I could give up the new home to keep my job. In that light, being without my steady source of income scared me a whole lot more than having to move, so I decided I was going to relocate. Well, that must have been the right choice because things I thought would be hugely complicated fell into place quickly. Literally the day after I had made my decision, I was informed that my daughters were being returned to my custody and arrangements were made for a check-in post-move to make sure they were well. My landlord was very understanding about needing to break my lease. My company would pay the moving expenses. I was able to secure a new home for myself and my daughters and Bridge of Hope and my neighboring volunteers to help me with whatever needed done, both physically and emotionally. The move to Ohio was made, and life continued on. I'd love to state that it continued on without any other huge problems, uh, but that's not how things seem to work. I have faced other major life issues, but each time I reverted back to the concept of tackling the big out-of-control problems by breaking them into smaller pieces that I can more easily deal with. What needs to be done immediately? How can I do that thing? And all the while, it chips away at the big scary issue until it had shrunk into a more manageable size. 
One of the unexpected blessings of my experience with Bridge of Hope is finding that as I leaned on their guidance and wisdom to navigate life's valleys, I was passing those coping mechanisms on to my daughters. Years after we'd made Ohio our new home, my younger daughter, who was six when I entered the Bridge of Hope program, had been living with friends during her first year at college. The roommates were moving out of the country at the beginning of her sophomore year, so she decided she wanted to move into college housing. Unable to come up with enough funding to allow that to happen, and unwilling to move back home to continue attending school, she reached out in panic as to what she was going to do. Well, I called my mother for advice, and she called my daughter to go through some possible options, only to find that my daughter had already stopped panicking, reviewed her situation and what options she had, and had made the decision to enlist in the Air Force for four years and then use those veterans' benefits to complete her degree. While I was commending her for that very mature bit of wrestling a problem and coming up with a workable solution, she stated she was just modeling behavior she'd learned from me, behavior that I'd learned from Bridge of Hope. By the way, that four-year stint in the Air Force, it's now eight years and counting, as she takes advantage of travel opportunities that just would not have been possible otherwise. Bridge of Hope helped my family through a difficult time back in the year 2000, and that influence is still being felt some 20 years later. Facing impossible choices is hard, but Bridge of Hope has left me with valuable lessons to help find my way through. Bad things can happen to good people, but that doesn't mean they have to turn you into a bad person. Hard choices sometimes have to be made, but they can lead to a good outcome. No matter how far down a path you've gone, you can always turn and start in a new direction. Nobody can do it all alone. It's okay to ask for help. Thank you, Bridge of Hope, for providing that help that my family needed. And I'm glad to report that I now have the chance to pay that help forward as my home church, Zion Lutheran in Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania, begins a new outreach mission as a one church site for Bridge of Hope in Blair County. Wish us luck. <laughs>